tonight's Project Earth, we have a whale of a tail. Meet Miss Blue from head to fluke. She's 87 feet long. And now, thanks to a team of scientists, surfers, engineers, and a Hollywood studio, Miss Blue is a full-scale digital double of a real blue whale who 46 years ago died and washed ashore in San Mateo County. About 2,000 blue whales live off the California coast, including this mother and her calf. We saw them in the middle of Monterey Bay from a boat guided by Monterey Bay Whale Watch. Their skin is gray blue, but once underwater, as you can see, they appear brilliant blue. Blue whales can reach 100 feet in length and weigh up to 200 tons. Their heart is the size of a small car. You know, it's pretty breathtaking, their size. I mean, they're almost double the size of humpbacks. They're a lot bigger <laughs> than I thought they were going to be. We saw their tails coming out of the water, which is apparently super unique. So, yeah, we were really, really lucky. They're amazing, ginormous animals. As for Ms. Blue, decades ago, a team at UC Santa Cruz saved her bones to put them on display. Now it's her bones that need the saving. How that happened is just like a Hollywood movie. Right off the coast, on the northern end of Monterey Bay, you'll find a real celebrity, the phenomenal Miss Blue. It's just wonderful. Miss Blue is the skeleton of a blue whale that once swam off the California coast. Blue whales are the largest animal known to have ever lived on the planet. I didn't realize that they were actually this big. For decades, the landmark greeted visitors outside the Seymour Marine Discovery Center at UC Santa Cruz. But the center's executive director, Jonathan Hicken, realized being outside all that time comes at a cost. We discovered a couple of years ago that the metal structure holding her up had begun to rust away. And that's to be expected, right? We're outside, we're in a coastal environment, there's water, there's sun, there's wind. And it became clear to us that this actually was becoming a safety hazard. The decaying bones had to come down for repair. Would Miss Blue survive? Q Hollywood wizard, Jess Marley. I'm a big runner, so anytime I, I travel, as we were up visiting uh, our aunt, I went for a run. Jess works for Halon Entertainment, a special effects studio in Southern California, involved in blockbuster films, TV shows, and games. His specialty, creating virtual 3D worlds. When Jess went on that run, he ran into Miss Blue. She's gargantuan. When he heard about her predicament, he got the idea to preserve her by creating a virtual twin. We have all this great tech and VFX. We could go back and, and potentially do something with that. Producer Andrew Ritter jumped on board. I had no idea about blue whales before we saw this project. We just saw, oh cool, there's a great uh, a big fossil we can, we can scan here. The Seymour Center saw an ocean of possibilities. We have a perfect 3D model of Miss Blue that can be used for scientific study, that can be used for entertainment purposes, that also can be used for educational purposes. This is an unbelievable scanner. With a high scanner precision scanner. like a scanner, the Halon team captured the bones of Miss Blue from multiple angles. We had to carry this up onto the roof to make sure that we could get uh, angles down onto, onto her body. First, they recreated the skeleton. Then they revived all of her. This really is uh, exactly what she would have looked like uh, when she was swimming around in the ocean. The scientists at the Seymour provided expert feedback. The digital team tweaked every detail. Down to a millimeter. It's a really cool merger of, of science and the tech that we use. The final product, Miss Blue in all of her glory. While blue whales tend to be solitary, this gal was a team player. Miss Blue was not a diva at all. No, she was so, so easy to, she always hit her mark. Absolutely a pleasure to deal with. Now we have a digital Miss Blue. How the Santa Cruz surfers and engineers saved her bones. Our next episode is quite a tale. If you'd like to find out more about Blue Whales, Miss Blue, and the efforts to restore her, go to kpix.com.